Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm gonna do a Photoshop tutorial and I know I haven't done one in a while and it's been requested so here you guys go and today I'm gonna show you how to create and use Photoshop actions. Uh, I have been using them for only half a year now and I wish I knew about them way before because it's something that made my workflow a lot a lot quicker and easier. Um, the actions that I usually use on like day-to-day -day basis are just I have some black and white duplicate layer and my favorite highlight and shadow ones and I'm gonna show you guys how to create all of them and you know you don't have to do just these ones you can literally make anything and once I'm gonna show you how to create them you'll see exactly what I mean um, and yeah you just can create any Photoshop actions that suit your style of editing and it's gonna make your life so so much easier so yeah let's just get started with this so to pull up your action tab you're just gonna go to window right here and then just click action um, I have a set number one over here but I'm gonna create a whole new folder a whole new set just to show you guys how to make these actions so to create a folder you're just gonna click this little uh, button right here and it just goes to new set and you can name it whatever you like I'm just gonna keep it at set 2 and I'm just gonna press OK now to start the action you're gonna click this little tab or button right here and I'm gonna call my action black and white I'm just gonna show you how to make a black and white pre um, action sorry I just keep saying preset because I was just making some Lightroom presets um, and you just press record so now, once it's recording, this red little uh, flash button is going to be on and it means that you are recording all the actions that you're doing. So you're going to go into Image, Adjustments, and I like to use Gradient Map for my black and white. Press Gradient Map and then go into black and white right here and press OK and you are done. So you're just going to press this button right here. And then you're just going to press this little one just to hide everything and um, I'm just gonna show you how awesome this is now now that we created an action so you're just gonna click on it like that and then you're just gonna quit uh, press play and here you go just try it just made it black and white pretty much in one click and how many clicks did it take me to make it black and white let's count one two three four five six so it <laughs> it literally took me cl uh, six clicks to make it into black and white and just one and with one action and you can make your actions as complicated as you want to with layers and bunch of stuff you can literally make like 12 different things to your picture and then save it and then you can do the same one for the other picture um, I'm gonna just show you how to create um, highlight and shadow uh, action because it's something that I use literally on every single picture that I do and it's something that makes my pictures stand out if you haven't seen my highlight and shadow technique Photoshop tutorial on YouTube I will link it somewhere I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can click on it and if you like that tutorial the actions are gonna make it a lot a lot easier all right so let's start um, again just gonna start recording your action I'm gonna just call it H for highlight. I'm gonna press record. So you're gonna start with duplicating the layer. So right click on your background, duplicate the layer, and then press OK. I'm gonna go into image, adjustments, and curves. And I'm just gonna drag the half of my lane right here upwards like this. And you see it's as it, the picture got a lot lighter, I'm just gonna press OK. Now you're gonna go over here and you're gonna create your layer mask, just click that and then you're gonna click Control i or you can go into image adjustments and invert right here and it shows you all the hotkeys right here Control i um, and that's it your action is ready you're gonna stop the recording and what it pretty much does is that you can just pick your brush and you can highlight whatever areas you want to instead of just highlighting the whole thing so can see this is what it does and also as you can see uh, it took a lot of clicks and a lot of time to just create this whole layer and uh, I'm gonna delete it right now and I'm gonna show you guys how fast it is with just an action so also uh, if you click this little arrow down 
it just puts all of the actions that you did back and then you click it again it just shows you exactly what took it to make it so you see I did the duplicate layer I make the curves and invert and all that stuff um, so you're just gonna press on that uh, action that you just made press play and it just made it all in a second and then you can just pick up your brush and just start painting so so easy <laughs> super easy so now I'm going to show you how to make the shadow one, which is pretty much the exact same way. So you're going to start recording it, and I'm going to just call it as for shadow, and press record. So you're going to start with duplicating the layer again, you're going to go into image, adjustments, curves, and now you're just going to drag down the lower part, and press OK. And then you're going to create the layer mask again, and control I to invert, and you are done. Alright, and this pretty much does the same thing when you pick up your brush, you can just start um, shadowing. And also what I like is that if it's too dark like it is right here, you can go to your opacity and just lower it down. And yeah, and I'm just going to show you guys again just how it works. You're just going to click on it and then click play just made your whole action and then you can just start shadowing it's really really easy and then if you want to delete any of your actions you just simply drag it to the bin this way and it just deletes it for you and now for the very end I'm just gonna make a random huge action and I'm gonna show you guys again just how it works on different pictures so I'm gonna hit record I'm just going to make my picture stand out a little bit more. I'm going to go to Selective Color. And I also explain how to do these things in my Color Correction Photoshop if you want to see it. I'm going to bring the magentas a little bit more. So it seems a little bit nicer. I'm going to put the vibrants a little bit more too. I just want to make it a lot more colorful than it is right now. And let's go to blacks and bring that purple like that and then maybe sharpen it up a little bit that's great and maybe just contrast okay I think that's good enough I'm just gonna stop it right here so as you can see I made this big as action and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks on a different picture so I just pulled out this picture from the same photo shoot and I'm going to run this action on this picture. So I'm going to press action and press play. And it did literally the, all the same things that it did to this picture right here, to this picture. So as you can see also if you are editing a lot of pictures and you want to edit them the same way, actions are something that you can definitely use to make it a lot a lot quicker so i hope you guys like this tutorial and i hope it, it was helpful and easy to follow or understand if you have any suggestions to what you would like to see next please leave it in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye